Welcome back to Fit for Life with Karen McKenzie. That's me. I hope you're ready to exercise. You know you need it. Uh, make sure you have water with you. And today we're going to talk about uh, false prevention and balance. Okay, because our balance isn't always as great as we get older, we're more apt to fall. There are many, many, many reasons for that. So it says in the book, one in four adults over 65 usually take a fall. That's one out of four. It used to be one out of three. Um, I'm thinking maybe people or seniors are exercising a little bit more. They're wakening up to the fact that if you work out, it pays off. Anything you can do to avoid a fall would be wonderful, almost anything. That first fall can lead to others. It makes you more susceptible. We become overcautious, and that too can challenge you and maybe uh, make you fall again, and you don't want that. So you want to be able to have security, feel secure when you're walking. Um, head injuries can be fatal. About 25% of people that have falls um, don't make it. So we want to avoid that as much as possible. Uh, some of the many causes are sarcopenia. I have mentioned that to you before. Maybe you already know that that means a weakening of your muscles or a wasting of muscles from not challenging them and not doing strength training. Also, gait problems. Some people um, have a walk that, or a shoulder that might be a little bit lower. Uh, they might have a neuropathy in their feet, which might cause them to fall. You can't really feel your feet all the time, or at least part of your feet. Um, poor posture can lead to falls too, uh, especially when you're walking, and you're walking this way, and it just throws your body weight too far forward, and you don't want that. So pay attention to that when you are walking to try to remain as, as straight as you can. Uh, and as far as, you know, looking for rocks or something, you know, in the road that would cause you to fall, uh, if you're far back enough, you're going you're to see them, even though you're, you're straight. So some people are like this all the time, looking to see. So just find a place that has a nice trail that isn't, isn't uh, full of rocks and brushes and branches and all that stuff. Um, have your eyes checked, whether you wear glasses or not. Have them checked at least once a year. All right. Um, take a Tai Chi class uh, that has been proven to prevent falls by about 48 to 50 percent. So that's wonderful. Try it out. Uh, go with a friend. Sometimes it's easier to exercise when you have someone with you and they're more apt to get you out of the house and vice versa. So find an exercise friend that you can exercise. Um, take that walk in the park or uh, just around your neighborhood as long as it doesn't have too many high buildings. Um, a lot of us live on the outskirts of the big cities, so keep that in mind. And sign up for a class at your senior center. And the best thing I can tell you is just to watch Fit for Life, because I'm going to be reminding you of all of this from time to time. So let's get started. We're going to do um, a little bit of a warm up right here in the chair. So you're going to come forward. And I know we've done it before, but it doesn't mean that we can't stop doing it. It's really important to do the sit-stand. One of the most important things you can do to strengthen your legs for falls prevention. Keep that in mind. When you are doing it, and I hope you'll practice at least every other day if you think of it, um, and each time you'll be able to do a few more, but to just start, start with one, start with two. Uh, if you can't do eight, or 10, do four or five. Anything you can do to prevent that fall, to keep you stronger, and you're gonna look better when your muscles are stronger too. Your posture is gonna be better. Let's try that again. This is three. We'll go back down again. Uh, if you wanna try it this way, you can. Maybe not when you're first starting, but I like to do it that way. There's a little bit more of an effort involved here. So I'm gonna sit back down again and then I'm going to get up again. And I think this is just four, four or five. We're not going to do eight together. Um, I suggest you write things down that I say are really important. Of course, I say everything's important. But uh, just make a list of the things that we do because you might try to remember and it's very frustrating not to be able to remember, especially when you're a senior, but there are ways to improve that. 
So I'm going to sit back down again, get kind of comfortable to strengthen the legs. Easy, easy stuff. You can do this while watching Netflix. Just lift the leg up. Even if you're reading, you can probably do two things at once. Just bring that leg up and hold it. If you want, you can hold it twice as long and you don't have to do as many repetitions. See how long you can hold that leg up. Put your hand on it. Doesn't it feel like the muscles are working? They, it feels harder. The muscles change in size or seem to a little bit. Try the other side. One side will be easier than the other. You can hold it. You can also do a little of this while you're there, holding that leg up. It makes it easier. Can you feel the tension in your abdomen so you're tightening and toning that too? Your torso needs to be strong. So that's one exercise that, that does it for us. Um, let's go back to the other leg because we didn't do our little kick. If you want, you can come away from the chair a little bit, again, for this area, your mid area. You can do this, you can do whatever you want with your arms. So I kind of like this one. Another exercise we can do, let's put one foot back, lift the other leg up, flex that toe so you'll get a nice stretch in your leg at the same time. And we're just going to bounce it. One and two, you can do as many as you want. Four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. If you want to do twenty, that's fine. Straight out. Flex that foot back. If you forget to flex your foot, it doesn't matter because we're strengthening these. This is the important area. So we're going to bounce it again. One, I can feel it here. Three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the good thing about me doing these shows for myself is that I do a little extra exercise, of course, because I do my uh, bed exercises just about every morning. And someday we'll do a class, or a show rather, with just those morning exercises, just to keep it in your memory. All right, let's just bring that leg out again. Let's go out to the side this time. The side. So you're moving that hip, that ball and socket joint in your hip. And five, put your hands up here, six and seven. Let's do ten, eight, nine, all the time. You're strengthening all the time. All right, the other leg out. You can just get that toe back toward your body, arms up here again, and just out to the side one and two. And the slower you go, the better. It means you're doing each movement a little bit longer. That's important. Out, five, and six, and seven and eight. All right, you can really feel that today. We're going to stretch these out later on too, so just keep that in mind. And one that I thought of that wasn't on my list is this one. Come forward just a little bit, lift one leg and cross it over. Put your hand here, feel this. It kind of goes down a little bit. Up and over, whatever you want with your arm, it doesn't matter. Up and over. So we're strengthening the lower body, which is very important for balance, improving balance, keeping you upright, preventing a fall. So it's up and to the side. Sometimes the simplest exercises give us the most benefit. I'm going to say maybe seven. You might be counting on your own. And then we'll do one more. So just a simple lift and cross over and out back is good. Okay, kind of relax a little bit. Pull yourself up nice and straight just to do something different. We're just working a little bit on the upper body now. And then let's cave in, drop that chin down, lift those shoulders up. You can round your back now. Sometimes it's good to stretch it out. It's just a different way of stretching. You're pulling that abdomen in just a little bit. And then bring yourself back up again. Good. All right, now the other leg, up and over. Now I find this side easier. It's the right side. Uh, most of us favor the right side. Up 
and over. Now we're going for four, and this is four and five and six. And you're getting a little tired, right? And seven, but it's a good tired, it's good for you. And up and over. All right. Let's come back just a little bit. Why don't you bring your feet as far back under the chair as you can and just click your heels together. All right? Just like the Wizard of Oz, just clicking them back and forth. It's just a kind of a little bit of a stretch for this area, not very much. I just invented this. Never done this before. It's very easy, isn't it? Yes, it is. But what about your feet? Your feet have a lot to do with preventing falls or being more apt to fall. You want them to be stretched out. You want them to be strong also. That's why we do that standing heel lift. That's a great one. That's a great exercise for us. Okay, then you're gonna just bring your legs right out. Now you can lift both feet off the floor. Uh, you can just relax your hands here and just point. Feel a nice stretch in your foot your ankle, the front part of your lower leg, and just keep pointing and flexing. So you're pointing out and bringing the toes back towards your body, good. So it's flexion and then, ex I'm sorry, extension and flexion. So point and back, good. Say this is five and six and seven and eight and nine, good, and 10, all right. Now let's circle one foot. You want flexibility in that ankle. Circling around, say four, and five, and six, and seven, you're burning calories to eight, let's do 10, nine, and 10, let's go in the other direction. And if you need to rest for a minute, just rest. We've already done quite a bit. And this isn't the most comfortable exercise, I don't think. Let's try the other side, though. We're going to circle around again. Yes. This one feels good. And around. Easy stuff. You're sitting down. Nothing difficult about it. Let's go in the other direction. Wonderful. But what I'd like to do now is stretch out these quadriceps that we've been using and exercising. So grab some water. I hope you have it with you or nearby at least. Cheers, folks. we will wake you up a little bit too. Water's supposed to be good for the brain. So we're gonna come forward, all the way forward as much as you can without falling off. We don't want you to fall off, right? I'm gonna turn this way first, this time. So your knees are kind of on an angle here. Now the leg that's closest to you, that would be the outside leg. All I want you to do is just bring that leg back. We've done it before, as I said. Just push your heel back. Push your heel back, good. So you're getting a little bit of a stretch here. You're getting a stretch also in your foot, in your ankle. We'll do just a couple more of these, good. All right, now for those that can do it, reach down or grab your pant leg and lift that leg up. Even if it's for a half a second, just if you can only do that, that's okay. So I'm gonna reach down and I'm gonna pull back a little bit. So you're gonna feel the stretch right here. And there are other ways to stretch too, especially standing. Um, again, I'd like you to hold at least 10 seconds when you're doing it on your own. 20 would be better. 30 even better. Good. You should feel this now. We're going to drop it down and we'll do just the opposite. We're going to stretch the back of the leg out now. We've been working those muscles too, your hamstrings in particular. Sitting up straight, toes up. You can hold on here if you want. Hold on with one hand. Put one right here on your leg. Keep your back flat as you come forward. You'll only be able to come forward a little bit. It's not terribly comfortable. I can feel that in the back of the knee, also in the hamstring. But now another way to, to feel it a little bit better, it'll be more comfortable, is to just take a breath as you bring your arm up. 
and exhale and round your back this time and you'll be able to go much further maybe right here on the shin on your ankle on the top of your foot um, sometimes people bring their toe back and I guess that's kind of cheating isn't it but that's okay let's try it once more breathing up and exhaling down wonderful so you're rounding your back and you will be able to go a little bit further because you're getting yourself ready for stretching okay we have to do the other side and then we're gonna stand up and that that'll be more comfortable I think so the outside leg is back uh, you don't want to be way back here in your chair though you want to be kind of on the end good um, let's reach down right away lift that leg up and pull it back can you let go with the other hand so you're reaching forward and back at the same time it's a great full body stretch pull that chin and you don't want this you want to pull the chin in that makes a total difference I know you can feel that and it should be easier to do but anything you do that goes beyond your fitness level is terrific keep that in mind anything is better than not moving at all and some people do not move at all during the day maybe to eat maybe right all right let's switch heel down toes up hand here keep your back straight as you come forward I can really feel that on this side today let's come back up let's do it with the breath the yoga breath breathing up and exhaling this time you can round over round over I'm going to adjust down here and you can round your back now point your toe can anyone touch their ankle at least the ankle that's good let's come back up and just lean back a little bit and then let's come forward again slide that hand down and now you can touch the top of your foot see it works you just have to do it but we're also going to do this we're going to lift that leg right up we didn't do it on the other side pull the leg in it's easier to stretch this way and I think it feels pretty good pull it in pull it in so this is for your lower back and your hamstring also good but I really would like to do the other side so let's do it right now before we move on before we stand up holding underneath and you're going to pull that leg in, shoulders down. Not this, but pull that chin in. And I know I forget sometimes, too. Very good. I, you should feel a stretch, most definitely. So grab some water again. We'll just take a couple of seconds before we stand up. And we are going to try not to hold on when we do stand up. Okay. You can do this. You can do that. I don't know if you want to try this way, but if you're not used to it, I wouldn't do it. So let's stand up. Good. I'm going to move the chair back. Good. And I think I've told you this before, and I'm going to tell you again, that one, one of the most important exercises we can do for strengthening our legs is the squat. And I know you remember it. But let's just do some easy knee bends to start, just to warm up those knees, get that synovial fluid moving around in the knee. Um, you might have some arthritis in there. Uh, as long as it is an excruciating pain, it should be okay. You're going to feel something. We're not 18 anymore. But it's amazing how much and what you can improve with exercise. All right. Now just lift your arms up straight out from the shoulder, bend your knees. If you need to hold on to something, please do it. There might be something on the side. And you're going to, instead of just going down straight, you're going to push this, your bottom, to the back and reach. And this is supposed to be really, really great for strength in your legs and to avoid, thereby avoiding a fall, which is very important not to do, very important. All right, let's bring those arms up straight. Bend your knees. That part's really easy. So instead of trying to reach forward, I'd rather you push this back, and then your arms will be forward. They're forward already anyway. So you try to do four or five of those, whatever you can do. 
if you can do only one, that's okay. It's still better than doing nothing and you'll do more next time, right? Okay. Um, behind your chair, if you want to get behind your chair now. This one I think is kind of easy. Uh, this is our ballet second position, remember? And all you're going to do is your lunges, which you do with yoga and other exercises we've done too, back and forth. Do what you want with your arms. If you want to bring them across, you could do that too. Kind of like that. You're getting a little, little twist there in the midriff, in the hips, uh, the lower back, mid-back a little bit. How's your balance here? Just make sure you're not back on your heels, but slightly forward. Not like that. You want, you want to come forward in one piece. Good. So let's bend over here and if you can, lift the toes. See if you can balance. If you need to hold on to a chair, that's okay. But you've got the chair, the back of the chair, right in front of you, right? All right, now let's go back to the other side and lift the toes on that foot. So it's kind of a simple, easy exercise. But all the while, you're strengthening here. So keep your legs bent. It's a little awkward, a little ungainly. You notice how my head wants to come forward. So we're going to, you should remind me of that. I could hear you. Keep the knees bent as you go to the other side and just lift the toes. It's a little test on your balance, for your balance. Keep the knees bent to the other side, lift those toes, do what you want with your arms, I don't care, and then to the other side and just lift the toes up. Beautiful, great. Um, why don't we just get away from this uh, for a little bit. You might want to come back to the side of your chair for this. You're just going to reach those arms up and then bring them down and up to the back. This is just kind of a, a stretch, just a little break, just stretching those muscles that are all warmed up now, and all the way up and back. This is great, a great stretch. It's one of the dynamic stretches because we're moving and stretching at the same time. Uh, you can do this as fast as you want, actually. And one more up, and let's just bring the arms down. Uh, what I'd like you to do is stay, if you're at the side of the chair, just stay right where you are. Now the outside leg, not this one close to the chair, but this one. All I'd like you to do is just lift it up and put it in front. Lift it up and put it in back. Or just do a little lift. You don't have to do a big one. So front and back. Of course, the faster you go, uh, the easier it is and you'll get more used to it, that feeling of moving instead of just standing there. Front and back, and front and back. Let's try it this way, let's try it this way. Point to the front, point to the side, point to the back and close. Now you either have to move aside to do the other leg or go to the other side of your chair. So here we go, front, side, back. Three different body directions. Front, you want to be comfortable in different positions to avoid a fall, too. Good. And front, if you do it fast, it's easy. Do it with me. Front, side, back. I like this one. Feels like we're dancing. Front, side, and back. Again, front, side, and back. And front, side, and back. Wonderful. Um, let's stretch the legs out a little by just lifting them up. Just lifting them up as high as you can. You're holding on, so it shouldn't be too difficult, right? Up and up, good. So now, um, I'd like you to go to the back of your chair again. So you folks are like this, but I'm gonna turn so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna turn that chair a little bit, and what we're gonna do is strengthen these hamstrings a little bit. So watch me, do it with me. Just point back and just Bend the knee, one and two. So just think of kicking, watch your posture. And four, good, and five, and six, and seven, one more, and eight, all right? Now relax the legs a little bit by what? Just bending, that's all you have to do. Just a nice feeling. Try the other leg, you're gonna point and then bend and two, not too bad on this one, right? Three, and four, and five, and six, 
the last one. Wonderful. Again, just bend. And when you bend, if you want to let go with your hands, it's just kind of a little test for your balance. I want you to feel comfortable in all different positions. And that takes time. If your balance is poor and your muscles are weak and you haven't been exercising. Now there's another exercise for the hamstring that's a little bit more difficult. Let's just touch to the back, lift it up, and bounce it. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Bend your knees again, good. And point with the other leg and bounce it. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you know time has gone so fast. I'm gonna have you sit down. Grab your water again. We've just got a minute left. I can't believe this. I mean, I could just keep talking forever. So I will have to just get together for the other shows. But um, if you are marking some of this down, uh, make sure you, you, know, you get the ones that either you haven't done before, because some of them you are going to recognize. Of course, I do repeat some things that I know that are good for you. But um, take a walk. These fall days have been really beautiful. We finally got a little rain, but the sun is out again. Uh, walking, extremely important for us. Um, some of us walk around our house all day, and I find I'm doing that myself. But if you have a basement, um, you could go downstairs and, and walk there. A little jogging in place, just to get that heart rate up a little bit. Uh, but I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, do what you can. Do it you've done with me, do what you know. Uh, when all else fails and you don't want to think about anything, just take a walk. So we're going to see you next time and we'll be doing some strength training. So uh, thank you again. And remember, we don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Bye for now.